Hey guys, it's Poppin' Jock Slade here. And when it comes to sneaker collaborations, they've kind of got a little watered down. They've really come a dime a dozen these days. For the last five years, you've seen collaborations from pretty much almost everybody, especially when it's a brand collaborating with a brand. That often ends up with just being like, a title on the tag or a stamp on the heel or an all over print. And really, I think sneakerheads are kind of over it. But every once in a while, a brand does get it right. And I think Adidas has got it right with this shoe. The Adidas Dawn issue number one. <laughs> All right, so let's get all of the major details out of the way. First things first, the shoe will cost $100 and it'll release July 1st on adidas.com and July 5th at retailers. On the performance side, the shoe uses bounce for the cushioning instead of boost. The way I like to compare bounce to boost is more like the less expensive shoes use bounce and the more expensive shoes used boost, but it's actually a little more than that as well. Feel like bounce gives you more control versus boost boost is more responsive than bounce but bounce gives you more control without sacrificing the responsiveness and the comfort boost on the other hand gives you more responsiveness but you lose some of the control because it is so bouncy i guess for lack of a better word Moving on to some other details of the shoe. There is a ton of cushioning on this shoe, especially if you look around the heel, it's super padded right there around your Achilles. They did a really great job with that. I don't know if this was a personal preference of Donovan Mitchell or it's just something that they were looking to do with this silhouette, but that area around the ankle and around your Achilles is heavily padded, which helps because it keeps you locked into the shoe. Moving on to the upper of the shoe, it looks like they use a textile mesh to give you that breathability that you need in a shoe like this at that price point of a hundred dollars imagine people are going to be using these both indoors and outdoors and if you're playing outdoors especially during the summer you want your shoe to be breathable you don't want your shoe to be a hot box and makes your feet all sweaty because that's how you get blisters but with these there's enough mesh from the toe all the way to the tongue and then there's some on the heel and on the side panels as well that should give you that breathability that you need Speaking of playing outdoors, Adidas is actually making these a little bit more durable by adding some TPU just above that textile mesh right at the toe box. It's mostly on the medial side. If you drag your toe when you drive to the hole or when you go to make a layup or if you're making a move and you use that extra little bit of traction of dragging your toe to cut back the other way, you can feel safe knowing that they have a little bit of extra TPU there just to protect that upper so it doesn't get torn up very quickly. Looking at the outsole, it looks like Adidas is using just a traditional herringbone pattern, but they're actually tweaking it just a little bit. And I'll get into some of the tweaks they actually made to this shoe to make it a collaboration. But it looks like it's that traditional herringbone pattern and it's not too hard and it's not too soft. Again, something that I think will be able to balance being played with outside and also being played with indoors. Uh, I know Nightwing spoke about this shoe and said that the, the grooves were a little too close together. And if you play on a dusty court, that can become an issue when the grooves are really close together because it doesn't allow the dust to free up or to move around inside the traction. Uh, I haven't had an opportunity to actually play in these yet, so I can't confirm that, but I trust Nightwing 100%. So if he says it, then it's gold with me. Now, speaking on the collaboration part of this silhouette, it's actually tied to Spider-Man, as I'm sure you can tell from this colorway with the blue and the red and the white. And Donovan Mitchell's nickname is actually Spider. He received it from, I believe, an AAU parent, started calling him Spider, and so the name stuck with him. And so that's how the whole Spider-Man aura or the whole Spider-Man alter ego came about for Donovan Mitchell. Kicking things off, you see they have that big spider logo right there on the tongue, and that tongue is actually an embossed web if you look at it on the red side, but you really see it pop on the blue side. And speaking of web, the entire upper has that mesh material on it, but it's all made to look a little bit like a spider web. So the whole shoe actually has a spider web feel based on that mesh and the way that they place the colors and the distances between the lines. When it comes to the lines of the shoe, and specifically the Adidas, 
Adidas lines of the shoe, you really don't see any on the lateral side of the shoe. They're all tucked on the inside of the medial side. So unless you're looking at the shoe from the inside, you won't even know that this is an Adidas shoe. Although there are Adidas stripes on the bottom and this leads me to the whole concept of Adidas and all these other sneaker brands removing their big giant branding from the shoes and allowing the silhouette to live on its own in this situation. Uh, I actually like the look of Donovan's shoe without the giant Adidas logos plastered on the outside. It allows them to do some different things with the upper where you see here, they have this panel which helps keep you locked down so it goes right across your midfoot. So you have that extra tension that you need to lock you down and this piece actually looks like it tucks down into the midsole so it really wraps up around your entire foot. One of the things that caught my eye, but I don't exactly understand why it's there are the TPU panels on the heel. There are two white stripes, at least on this colorway, and I'm not exactly sure why they are there. If it's a Spider-Man reference that I'm just not aware of, or if they have a purpose there that I just don't know about, if they're there to highlight the heel cup, I, I just don't understand why they're there. And honestly, I feel like the shoe would be better off without them. Staying with the whole Marvel comic book Spider-Man theme, they actually named the shoe the Don issue number one, which is like a comic book. And Don is actually not what it usually means when people say Don, I guess. It's determination over negativity, which is something that Donovan Mitchell lives by. He kind of feeds off of the negative energy of people telling him he can only do this or he can only do that or he can't do this or he can't do that. And he uses that negativity to fuel him and fuel his determination in a sense. There are a few hidden details on this shoe. They're mostly on the outsole. Uh, this one here is for the school that he went to, which is Louisville. As far as the fit goes, these are super snug. And I say snug, not in that they're tight, but because of the padding that you can definitely feel the shoe wrap around your foot, which is a good feeling and something that I actually appreciate. The toe box is a little wider than normal, but I think that's just because of Donovan's style of play how he's always jumping so he needs that extra base kind of to bounce up off of but it also helps when you're cutting so that when you cut to the side you have that little extra bit of room so your shoe doesn't roll over and they actually added a little bit of rubber here right here along this piece that kind of helps you stay locked into the shoe so when you're making that hard cut there's a little bit of extra room right there to keep you sealed in one final detail is no limit and you may not have seen this on the shoe but it's actually actually on the medial heel of the shoe. It says no limit in very, very small print, which I imagine is something that Donovan Mitchell lives by as a creator myself, as a YouTuber, as a person that plays basketball, as a person that runs and having exceeded some of my own expectations, something like no limit really lets you know what things are possible when you are determined and you really go after those things. All right, so my overall thoughts on the shoe is this is a solid shoe. It's there is nothing I would say that's super special about it. It's not super special and it's not terribly bad. At $100, I do think it is a good shoe. It's not out of this world. It's not something that you put on and you're like, oh my God. But it's also not something that you put on and you're like, oh my God, this is terrible. Uh, for me, it's a shoe that you put on and it kind of melts away, which is really what a basketball shoe should do in my mind. This is a tool and it has some cool colorways that are coming along with it. So I definitely appreciate it. And at the $100 price point, I definitely think it's worth it if it's something that you're looking into. Now, because this is a collaboration with Marvel, there are a couple of different colorways that are going to come out that match the whole Spider-Man theme. This is obviously the most obvious Spider-Man, but there's also the black and pink Spider-Man, there's the black and green Spider-Man, and then there's also the red and gold Spider-Man. All of those will be coming out over the next couple of weeks, and like this one, they'll be priced at $100, which again, I think is a really great price for a basketball sneaker. It has bounce, which is really great. It has great traction on here, and uh, the fit is good. It's again, not amazing, but it's it's good and it works for $100. It's something that I wouldn't hesitate buying, but that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think of the Don issue number one. What do you think of the tie-in with Spider-Man? Is it a good collaboration in your eyes or should he just have the shoe live on its own? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. As always, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. I'm Jacques Slade. As always, I appreciate you and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.